Hey you guys, what is up? It is me, Rachel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair black. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'm dyeing my hair black today, so excuse how I look, um, obviously, because I'm about to just transform myself. I know I've been talking about it for a while. Um, I mentioned doing it in my The Truth About Locks, I mean The Truth About Dyeing Your Locks video. First of all, like, my hair has grown out so much and I just miss having black hair. This red hair served me really well, but it's just too much maintenance. I just, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm just done. I think this black is just gonna be beautiful. It's going to be a new start. I bought three of the Dark and Lovely Fade Resist Rich Conditioning color, Colors, and this is in the color 371, Jet Black. And so my natural hair color is not a Jet Black. It is more of like a natural black, the color like 1B. But I wanted to get Jet Black just so I can make sure that it co covered this red hair. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So I'm trying to see if I should do this like I be doing my regular dye. Do I need to rinse my hair out first? Let me see. It says prepare, put on gloves, twist off the tip of the dark and lovely cream developer. This is the cream developer. Pour entire contents of the dark and lovely permanent hair color bottle into the dark and lovely developer applicator bottle. But I'm gonna do two at a time. And so I really don't even know what I'm doing. Here we go, this is the hair color. And this is the conditioner that they give. This is probably gonna be really good. I have class at two o'clock, it's 1.11 right now. I have Zulu class, but I'm about to just be um, having my hair sit while I learn some Zulu. I'm like super nervous, but I'm super excited. Um, I don't even know if I'm prepared all the way for this. I have my gloves. But I'm gonna part my hair first. I was expecting that I was gonna have to wash my hair before this, so that's good. So that saves a little bit of time. So I'm gonna part my hair into four. And I have my mirror right here that I'm gonna probably move to the back right here just so I can make sure I can see the back of my head because I always had that problem um, when just touching up my red. I wasn't able to see all the way, so the back would never really take as well as the front would because I would miss a lot of spots. These front sections are significantly bigger than the back sections, but whatever. We're gonna pay special attention to these sections. I'm gonna put Vaseline on my edges. And let me take my earrings off because, child, I do not want my earrings to turn black in this thing. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so happy I'm doing it, y'all. I'm gonna look so bomb. I already know it, cause my hair has gotten so much longer and my hair has gotten a lot fuller and just thicker. I'm just putting this around my edges to protect my face. Putting this on my forehead. I'm about to throw some on my ears. I feel like I'm giving myself a perm. How long am I supposed to keep this on? 30 minutes? I'm probably do like... 45 okay my very first lock video was me dyeing my hair my me touching my hair up with the red so this is really like nostalgic <laughs> doing a video like this i'm gonna open this up this is the cream developer and then this is the color y'all here goes nothing it ain't no turn it back i'm doing it okay there we go that's better Oh, well, this is just what it looks like. It looks like olive oil. I really wish that I could have went to the salon and got this done, but my girl was booked until like the 23rd and I need to wash my hair today. And I could not literally go another wash day without my hair being black. So, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but your girl, is monetized on YouTube. When you click my video, did you see an ad? Are you seeing these ads pop up? Are you seeing these banners pop up? I did it. I hit 4,000 watch hours, like a month after I hit 1,000 subscribers, and it's lit. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Okay, here goes nothing. Deep breath. I'm doing it. Here we go. It ain't no turning back now. 
No turning back. It's tricky already. I was watching videos before I decided to do this. And a lot of people were saying make sure you don't squeeze the product into the lock because it's unnecessary. So I'm going to try not to do that. I'm just going to try to make sure everything is really lathered. Could have did a better job with this part, but I'm going to move on to this section. I have a lot of locks. I really do. So I have not gotten my roots yet, just cause I really wanna focus on getting this red first. And then I'm gonna go in and hit the roots if necessary. And it's a good thing I have this black shirt on because I don't really want my skin to show because y'all see how um, that just easily got on my shirt. I don't want it to irritate my skin. For some reason, the back of my scalp seems like it is burning. Not burning, but kind of irritated. Okay, at this point it's getting a little difficult because I want to make sure every lock is covered. So I had to flip this over just to make sure the the like back of these locks was getting coated. And I'm not even hitting my roots yet, y'all. And this stuff is turning quick. I'm on a roll. I'm doing a really good job. This looks like it's the end of this bottle, but I have not finished this side yet. I'm getting like really, what's the word? Antsy right now because I feel like I'm in a rush to finish this because I don't want like it to be sitting in my hair for too long. And I want to just really make sure I have everything. And plus like my nose is about to fall off because it's so strong in my bathroom. Okay, I think this is enough. I've been trying to go over like every one to make sure I really got it good. But I think I'm about to stop right now and let it sit. It turned already, yeah. Here we go, it's looking good. I did a good job. It says leave for 30 minutes. So it's um, 148. Um, I have class at 210, so 
I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna wrap my hair in this. I'm not gonna sit under the dryer because I don't feel like it. Alrighty, I'm gonna clean up and I will catch you guys when it is time for me to rinse this out. All right, I have waited a little bit too long. It is 2.45, so I waited a lot over 45 minutes. So it's time to rinse this stuff out. Hey guys, I'm back and I have rinsed my hair out. I had to take my shirt off because it was getting super wet when I was rinsing it out. We did it. Yo, this is black as heck. So, yeah, this is it, you guys. I'm happy, though. I'm happy. I mean, I know it's gonna lighten up over time. It's just very drastic right now. I'm gonna retwist my hair, which is gonna take me an additional 20 hours. So, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come on here and show you guys the finished product. I am no longer a redhead. I no longer have red hair, like, straight like that. Like, nice. Okay, y'all. This is the final product. Y'all tell me what you think. It's gonna take me a lot of getting used to. Um, it's cute. Here's the back. So I think I did a pretty good job overall, like getting all of the red spots. I definitely still saw some red in the back um, when I was retwisting, but it's definitely no big deal. Um, I couldn't figure out how to style my hair, so I just did a side part and added two carry shells. So um, that's it. <laughs> it's definitely beautiful, um, but of course, like it has to grow on me. I am looking forward to it fading a little bit to more of a natural black, but I mean, it's cute, it's pretty, it brings out my skin. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will catch you guys in the next one.